are big and we are small If we have time, we'll name them all Oh, we must love, must love trees Welcome to the Tree Museum is a warning and a promise. It's a fairy tale wrapped in a new package. Fairy tales formerly were used by women to kind of warn their children about things, right? The audience can expect uh, a unique way in which their relationship to nature gets played out. Global climate change is a pressing issue. If we don't respond in the next 10 to 11 years, we will be living in a drastically different planet. We do have a relationship with nature, and I think we need to realize that. The reason why I'm part of this project is to explore and really convey this information that's so important for everyone, not only in our community, but in the world as a whole to understand. Sometimes it's hard to see what's going on until you're fully immersed into it. Which is why global warming deniers can deny that there's global warming because we're in the middle of a polar vortex, which is a result of the global warming that they're denying. But I feel that being able to see what's going on in such an immersive space, in such an immersive environment, and being able to relate that to your own life is a very important and very useful way to express um, what we're doing here. Because it's a fable, it allows people to emotionally connect to what's going on, not only in this space, but we hope through leaving this space, uh, they realize the ways in which it's not so different than what we live currently. If we can't have healthy, loving relationships with each other, how, how are we going to have that with other species, other beings in, on our planet that don't speak our language, that don't behave in the way that we do, that are, in the case of trees, that are silent. We'll name them all, so when we see them, we'll know the trees of the tree museum. Oh, we must love, must love trees.